Hey, this is Brian from Westman Dino. Today we're gonna to do a little testing on a naturally aspirated LS3. Uh, we've done a, quite a bit of flex fuel E85 on forced induction cars with really good results, big, big gains. Uh, but we haven't done too much on the naturally aspirated LS motors. Uh, this car is one of our test cars that we tested our cold air intake on. Um, it's very consistent. It's, got, it's an LS3, six speed manual car. Uh, it's got a small cam. Again, one of our cold air intakes, headers. Uh, it's very consistent. Uh, so we put a little E85 in this thing. We put bigger injectors from Fuel Injector Connection, uh, 60 pound injectors, a uh, flex fuel sensor and change of programming in it. And then we ran a MSD booster pump to supply the fuel, extra fuel that we're gonna need on the E85. So let's see what this car does and what kind of power we gain on a naturally aspirated LS3. <laughs> All right, so the results are in, and it looks like naturally aspirated LS3s do like E85. Uh, there are some drawbacks to running this fuel. Uh, it's a little bit harder to find. Most likely you're gonna need bigger fuel injectors, bigger fuel pumps, a flex fuel sensor. So there is some cost associated with upgrading to this fuel, but on the other side of it, this fuel is very cheap, and it is available at a lot of gas stations if you actually look for it.